There's a serious problem with the YouTube banner templates on Canva. Let me explain. I recently created a brand new YouTube channel and like any other creator, I knew I needed a good name, logo, and a good banner. Naturally, I turned to Canva. I searched through their wide variety of YouTube banner templates. I picked one and I made it my own. And it was all good until I uploaded and published it on YouTube. Excited to see my new banner in action, I opened my channel page, but something was off. The banner just didn't fit. And that brings us to this video. If you're a fellow perfectionist creator, I feel your pain. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an awesome YouTube banner that looks good on every device. First, we need to make sure that the most important part of our banner falls within the safe area. The safe area is the area that can be viewed on all devices. To do this, we need to set the right dimensions and the right guide. YouTube recommends the dimensions 2560 by 1440. If you start with the Canva YouTube banner template, those dimensions will already be set. But if not, you'll need to go to resize, width and height and adjust those accordingly. Width being 2560 and the height being 1440. Next, you'll need to create your guides and lock them in. To see your guides, you need to go to File, View Settings, Show Rulers and Guides. Now, for the sake of time, I've already programmed the guides in, but if you want to add a guide, you need four numbers. On the horizontal axis, you need to add a guide at 508 and a guide at 932. On the vertical axis, you need to add a guide at 507 and then at 2053. To add a guide, just simply drag on one of the axes and pull down to the desired area, like this. Once you've set your guides, you can lock them in. You can do that by going to File, View Settings, Lock Guides. Guys, don't worry about remembering these numbers. I've created a template linked in the description below, which you can download and use that will already have these guides locked in so you can start designing your YouTube thumbnails. Now that we have the dimensions and the guides set, we can start designing our banner. Keep in mind, the most important parts that you want your viewers to see should all fit within the safe area. Anything within the innermost box is considered the safe area. Extending outward, that will show up on all your laptop and computer devices, and then the entire uh, image will show up on TV screens. Now that we have our dimensions and our guides set, we can start designing our banner. Keep in mind, you want to put the most important parts of your banner within the safe area to ensure that it's viewed on all devices. For me, that includes putting an engaging photo of myself, my YouTube channel name or logo, text that describes what my channel is all about, and then more text that informs the viewer of how often I'll be uploading. So first I'll start by dragging in an image of myself and removing the background. I'll resize the photo to fit within the safe area. And I'll typically adjust the image to make it a little bit brighter so that it stands out. Maybe even add a little bit of contrast or reduce the contrast depending. I may add some vibrance just to make it pop a little more. And that's pretty much it. Next, I'll add some text and call it my channel name. I'll resize that to fit within my uh, safe area again. And maybe add some text effects to make it pop out. Add a little lift, maybe change the font, this, and just get that nice in the safe area. I'll add some more text to describe what the channel is about. Resize that to fit, and maybe give it a different font. And then last, I'll add one more text box to inform the viewers on how often I'm gonna upload. So new videos every week. I'll resize that. And maybe for this one, I'll give it a text background and say I'll make that red. All right, so we got the most important parts of our banner within the safe area. At this point, I'll go ahead and change the background to something that fits with my brand. For the sake of time, I've already picked one out. And voila, as you can see, I got a nice background. I got the most important information within the safe area. And maybe one last thing I'll do is I'll add a light behind my picture just to give it a little pop. Make that white, backward, bring down the opacity. Another thing you can do is take your image just to give it like a little drop shadow. You can mess around with these settings if you want to. 
Now that you know how to make your YouTube banners better, you need to learn how to make your videos better too. Check out this video to learn how to drastically improve your next YouTube video. Peace.